Collar sleeve is one of my favorite guards. A couple small things that are gonna help you guys out. Paying attention to your angle of your hips. If my hips are square playing collar sleeve, it's gonna be very easy for my partner to bring their foot up to my hip, fall to the side and set up a leg drag, or just make this position very difficult. Collar sleeve is very, very offensive and very submission focused. Some small things that are gonna help you guys out a lot is that the foot that's on the bicep, I actually wanna rotate my knee in. When I rotate my knee in, I'm gonna bring my hips off angle. So I'm actually gonna be pointing away from my partner this way. When I have the collar in the sleeve, I want my knuckles into the collarbone, controlling the sleeve, and I'm gonna be constantly off balancing my partner, okay? We're never getting to a guard and sitting there, or especially getting the collar sleeve and just sitting in collar sleeve. So when I have it, I'm gonna rotate my knee in, pushing my foot out so it moves his arm, controlling the collar sleeve, always having tension on the sleeve, always looking to off balance my partner. So I'm not just sitting. So I'm gonna be moving, testing the hips, and then looking to set up our triangle. Collar sleeve is a very aggressive, submission focused and oriented guard. It's absolutely one of my favorites. One thing that people can really struggle with, especially with kids, is actually getting stacked when you go for the triangle, especially if you go with some bigger people. So we're always off balance, and we're always gonna be moving our partner. We're gonna do what we call testing the hips, which is where we're lifting our hips up, trying to get our hip, actually above the elbow so then we can lock up our triangle when we lock up our triangle what you see a lot of folks do is that they let go completely of the collar and then people end up stacking them up getting their legs above their head and oh it feels horrible right very difficult to finish so what we do is we keep the collar and we proactively flare out the elbow when i flare out the elbow here no matter how much he stacks me i have like next to no pressure on me okay what's great about this as well is i can just control my shin take my time walk up the triangle and finish. But this fun detail guys is keeping your collar grip. So think like knuckle bone to the collarbone and then I'm flaring my elbow out. I'm always having my elbow half flared. And then if I get stacked, I flare it more. And it's like, not like I'm going for a loop choke, but I'm using the structure from my elbow to my shoulder to help uh, support his weight. So I'm not feeling it on my neck or anything. This detail has been absolutely massive helping our folks actually finish the triangle. Collar sleeve is one of my favorite guards. It's very submission focused. If anybody stands up on the feet and somebody has a really good angle, they're off angle with their collar sleeve, they understand how to off balance and move their partner, more than likely this match is resulting in a submission. With that being said, a lot of folks you're gonna see, especially in competition, are gonna sit their butt to their heels. So they're gonna crouch down, make it to where it's actually really tough, especially when they bring this elbow in because oh, I can't get the triangle, right? So what do we do from this position? What I like to do, guys, is I like to actually try to off-balance my partner here, okay? Whether I have the flow lasso or whatever, I wanna be bringing my partner, looking to get my deli heba hook in, okay? As I do this, I'm bringing my partner into me. As my hook comes in, I'm immediately looking to lift my partner here, okay? Pushing my foot up and lifting. From here, I'm gonna be shooting my leg around his back as if I'm going for the knee on the inside, Oma Plata, okay? From here, we have a couple options. So we can bring the leg around, finish the triangle, or if you prefer going for the omoplata, you can. My personal preference is always the triangle. This hand is generally gonna be posted here, and I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, get this arm to the other side of my hip. More than likely, if they feel omoplata, it's not gonna happen. So I always take the triangle, and I always preemptively flare my elbow. From here, I do not like doing this. This is not necessarily bad or wrong, but, we flare the elbow to help prevent the stack and alleviate pressure. The other thing I like to do from here to help alleviate the pressure and help control my angle is I take my left foot, if it's, if it's the non choking leg, putting it to my partner's hip, pinching my knees together, okay? My other leg is curling down as soon as I can. My other hand, guys, on the non choking side is grabbing my shin. From here, flaring the elbow and my left foot on the hip is gonna help create the space that I need that I'm not gonna be stacked it's not gonna be super uncomfortable and we can take our time to find the exact angle we want for the triangle.